The world is full of weird and wacky things. Some even seem too crazy to be real. From lightning volcanoes to forests underwater and rocks that are alive, here are some of the most bizarre things, proving nature is full of surprises. Now I know what you might be thinking, and no, this isn't a brain growing from the ground, but a type of fungus called Gyomitra esculenta. These can be found during spring and summer across North America and Europe, most often underneath coniferous trees. Despite its weird appearance, it's considered a delicacy, but be warned, they're poisonous and can be deadly if eaten raw. These colorful trees grow incredibly quick, being able to double in size every year before finally reaching a diameter of two meters and reaching heights of up to 61 meters. The rainbow eucalyptus sheds its flaky bark in strips, revealing a green layer, which then changes color, contrasting beautifully against the other vibrant hues of its trunk. Considered by some as the most spectacular sight on Earth, Dirty lightning is an unusual phenomenon associated with significant volcanic eruptions. The term dirty lightning means lightning that happens in an eruption cloud from a volcano. In these eruptions, cloud ash particles collide, producing an electric charge, instead of a typical thunderstorm where ice crystals collide. Now for something a little bit cute, the royal antelope. These little guys are the smallest antelope species in the world. You may think that this is a baby, but oh no, this is them fully grown. Native to West Africa, they share very similar physical traits to the hare, with overdeveloped hindquarters twice as long as their forelimbs, and a short tail. They can stand at 25 centimeters in height and can weigh up to three kilograms. No, these aren't some bird skulls or things used for witches' potions. They're just snapdragon seed pods that happen to look like skulls. The popular garden plant receives its name from its resemblance to a dragon and due to the fact that they snap open and shut when squeezed. But once the flower dies, the pod takes on a more sinister appearance. Found in the rainforest of Central and South America, these flowers replicate juicy pairs of lips quite well. Sadly, they're becoming endangered due to uncontrolled deforestation, and they're only kissable for a short while before they spread open to reveal the plant's real flowers. Interestingly, the lips are not the plant's real flowers, but modified leaves known as brags. Now this guy looks more like an alien hybrid instead of a moth. This species of moth is native to Southeast Asia and Australia, and I know what you're thinking. What on earth are those weird appendages used for? Those are a male's scent glands that produce pheromones used to attract a female. Whatever floats a lady moth's boat, I guess. Now, this caterpillar may be unlike any you've seen before, and for a good reason. This poor spiny oak caterpillar has succumbed to quite a brutal fate. Unfortunately for this guy, it's been chosen as the unsuspecting home to a nest of parasitic wasps who have decided it'd be a great place to bring up its babies. The braconid wasp lays its eggs underneath the caterpillar's skin, and once hatched, the braconid larvae eat through the poor caterpillar to then spin up these cocoons. This here isn't an egg yolk casually basking in the sun, but it is in fact a marine creature called a seaport, with each one being made up of a group of organisms called zoids, meaning they're an individual animal that can also be a part of a colonial animal. The pork name for this creature stems from its resemblance to meat, which I must admit, I'm not really seeing. It looks more like a satsuma. It's supposedly quite the delicacy in Japan. These may look like rocks, but they are in fact a sea creature. These guys are completely immobile like a rock, but eat by sucking in water. They have clear blood and secrete a rare element called vanadium. Not only that, but they're born male and become hermaphroditic at puberty. They reproduce by emitting a cloud of sperm and eggs into the surrounding water to breed. They're also eaten by locals raw or in stews. This could very well be mistaken for some sort of undiscovered Pokemon, but it's a creature called a siphonophore that was discovered on a beach in New Zealand, with thousands of them littering the beach. There are about 188 species of siphonophores, and although each one looks like an individual creature, they, like the colonial tunicate, are also made up of zoids. They're very jellyfish-like and have been known to sting people, with it sometimes being lethal. They are also the longest animal in the world, with some being found to be as long as 40 meters. Something that looks similar to the siphonophore is the Teratrachia oadea. Its long name makes up for its small size. This sea slug is commonly known as the water ghost due to it having camouflaged organs, making them transparent. Its other nickname is water elephant, for obvious reasons. 
So we've all heard about aliens making crop circles in fields, but what about ones underwater? These crop circles are built by these cute little guys, a few inch long pufferfish. The males can spend up to six weeks creating the circles to attract a mate, and if the female is satisfied with his creativity, she'll lay eggs in the center. The riffles you see work as a shield against ocean currents. The more riffles the male fish makes, the more chance he has of getting some action with the opposite sex. These two crystal-looking oddities fell from the sky during a hailstorm in the UK. A resident described them as almost impossible to pick up, with them being very jelly-like. According to one scientist who looked into the case, they could very well be eggs from a marine invertebrate. However, that still doesn't explain how they came to fall from the sky. Maybe a tornado picked them up and they traveled in the air for miles? Let me know what you think. With how enormous our oceans are, it's no surprise that to this day we're still discovering new species. This guy is called the Gara glaverostris and was only found in 2017 in India. At first glance, it looks like it has some sort of infection on its nose, but this is entirely normal as it uses the nodules for breeding purposes. To me, this looks like someone dropped a piece of raw mince on the ground, but it's a fungus nicknamed purple jelly disc and is commonly found in North America, Asia, and Europe growing on dead trees during the autumn season. It may also serve a more useful function than looking like a piece of meat, as scientists have discovered it could potentially be a source of biofuel. The ocean seems to be filled with many bizarre looking creatures, including these, the Malibi Leonine. These strange looking sea critters were discovered on the shore of the Pacific Northwest. The person who found them inquired about their origins on Reddit, where it was concluded that they are in fact a kind of sea slug called Malibi Leonine, also known as a lion's mane nudibranch, which sounds far cooler. There are a variety of interesting transparent sea dwellers found in the ocean. You have your standard jellyfish and shrimp, but there are also breeds such as the crocodile icefish with its ghostly appearance and colorless blood. Even more bizarre is this sea sap, an organism that pumps water through its gelatinous body, chomping down on phytoplankton. These guys are unique as they exist both as individuals and also as part of a larger organism, with some making luminous chains of up to 15 feet long. Now I know what you're thinking. And yes, this does look a bit phallic, but get your mind out of the gutter. This is nothing more than a Pandora Sphinx moth caterpillar. They're a North American moth, grayish green in color with patches of pink around their eye spots and edges. Its wingspan can be between three to four inches in length. When they're in their caterpillar form, they like to drill into the earth to pupate. Nope, this isn't an alien come to invade, but a crinoid called a feather star that someone accidentally hooked while fishing. They're marine animals that live in shallow water and up to depths of just over 9,000 meters. Crinoids have a U-shaped gut and their bum is located next to the mouth. Yep, by their mouth. They come in a range of forms that attach themselves to the sea bottom by stalks known as sea lilies, but they can also be seen swimming freely. This isn't just a rock, but in fact, a fossil made from tube worms. They have a fantastic mechanism where they excrete calcium carbonate to form a tube as a means of defense. The worms can adhere to any surfaces such as clams, rocks, or even other worm tubes. Tube worm fossils go as far back as 443 million years ago and are very rare. The worms that live in the tube are called feather dusters or fan worms and use their fluffy tentacles to strain food out of the water. This may seem like a terrifying thing to stumble on at the beach, but it's not as scary as it looks. It's just a bluefin tuna skull from above. From the side of a tuna's head, you can see how it slots into place. Bluefin tuna describes four different types of tuna fish. These include the southern, Pacific, Atlantic, and the long-tail tuna. The Pacific tuna is the largest of these fish, growing up to almost three meters long. Sometimes dubbed as jelly sausages or horseshoe sausages, these eggs are a clear kidney-shaped jelly laid by the conical snail. The eggs aren't harmful, but the conical snail is venomous with stings like that of a bee that can be fatal to some people. If you come across a jelly sausage, you'll see hundreds of tiny black dots that look similar to grains of sand, but those are individual baby snails getting ready to hatch. Now for a few more amazing deep sea creatures. Pelican flounders are strange fish, but their larvae are some of the most alien looking entities of the deep. Like a mosquito, pelican flounder larvae are enveloped within their transparent flesh, only growing into their normal opaque brown color as they grow. In fact, the pelican flounder looks similar to cusk eels. They come in a variety of forms and are wrapped within an almost extraterrestrial looking transparent form. This is to be expected though, as at 8,200 meters deep, the cusk eel is officially one of the deepest ocean-dwelling creatures on record. 
away from creatures now. Abraham Lake is an artificial lake that lies in the foothills of the Canadian Rockies in Canada. It was created in 1972 with the construction of the Bighorn Dam. What's surprising about this lake is that the plants within it release methane gas, and as the lake gets colder, the methane freezes and creates columns of frozen bubbles. Though it looks gorgeous, Abraham Lake isn't for the faint-hearted, as if you go there, you'll be able to see all the cracks in the ice and the deep boom of ice breaking underneath the lake's surface. Here's another amazing lake. Candy Lake is a 400 meter long lake in Kazakhstan made famous for its otherworldly landscape and limestone blue water. It attracts a multitude of visitors each year who go there to see its immersed forest with branches that protrude through the water surface. The forest formed after an earthquake hit the region in 1911. As well as destroying over 700 buildings, the 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake also caused a massive landslide of limestone that formed a natural levee and created the underwater effect. The temperature of the water is freezing, which has helped to preserve the shrank spruce trees that are immersed in it. So which oddity from nature surprised you the most? And do you know of one that should have made it on the list? Let me know in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.